Come on down. Kia, courtesy of Resurrection Distillery. That's what he does all day. He makes booze Come is what on. he does. Let's be positive. Just stop right there. No negativity. Let's be positive. LBP. Let's be positive. Resurrection Distillery. Look it up on Facebook. That's the place where he puts in most working hours during the week. Matt Gunn joins us. Let's be positive. There were four positions available in Twizel on the council. Four people stood for four spots. So there wasn't really an election, Matt, was there? Not for the community board, Martin. We have a new mayor. We have a new mayor, Anne Munro. She's the new mayor. She won by 14, 1,500 to 250. Okay. It was a bit of a cakewalk, that one. Mm -hmm. So a new mayor... And uh, a few new councillors. And see, as they say, Martin, a ripe mix for local body politics. Well, see, I think 40% around the country is a positive turnout. I really do. Democracy isn't something that you are forced to do. If you choose not to, that's also part of democracy. So what it actually says, 60% of the country can't be asked, mate. Ah, so what? Well, I, yeah, I, I mean, I wonder, is that what it says? I'm not sure. I mean, does anyone really from the last 20 years even understand how it works. No. Do we need to make it easier, Martin, ticking a few boxes on a piece of paper and mailing it back? Apparently these days too hard. Yeah, it is. So we need new and fresh ones. It Taking needs to it be to a TikTok, mate. It's got to be a TikTok. You've got to just flick a tick and talk and then they do it that way. I don't know how that works. But look, I, I posted a ballot in and do you know what I did? I didn't want any of them in. So I didn't fill it out, mate. I just posted it. That was my protest. Donkey vote. Yeah. That's, yeah, they it? call that a donkey vote. Well, there you go. I'm a donkey, okay? It's not the first time I've been so called you're donkey. One of the, you're one of the many reasons you have the new mayor that you do, a wonderful man in the ripe prime of his years, trying to be Joe Biden, from what I can see. Glad I'm not living there. <sighs> yeah, okay. Well, let's move quickly on to Bathurst then. Let's be positive about the mud, shall we? What did you think of the race, mate? Did you like it? I love it. I love everything about it, Martin, from Friday until the end of the race on Sunday. Same. The build-up, even maybe the week before, I go into a cocoon and I just read everything I can over and over. And then through the race, well, if I'm not watching it, it's it's going on a live stream as I carry it yeah, around. Yeah. It's there all day. That's I, it, the I, race, the race. That's it. I, I want to hear every word. I want to hear every trip to the pits. I want to hear every in-car. I am not captivated by anything more than the Bathurst cocoon over the weekend, regardless of who wins. But I was glad to see the Jizz, the Jizz, sorry, Mark, the Jizz, uh, <laughs> win it. <laughs> I was more than delighted. <laughs> Hang on a second, we just... <laughs> do you want to do that again? <laughs> No, no, I, it slipped down. I don't even know why that came to uh, top of mind. Also, also, I thought it was fantastic that your friend and mine, can, one of New Zealand's greatest maybe you race need to, car maybe drivers, you just need to, maybe you need to do what, over, over the weekend. Maybe what you need to, well, maybe, 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 maybe what you need to do is just one of the guests, just take a couple of moments out on the TV this morning. Just take a couple, just All a couple, right, just, just, just yeah. Just to kind of refresh. I was too invested. <laughs> I was too invested. But don't you think it's one of the? It's it, like you can watch golf for four days. It's not as exciting no, as Bathurst no, over four no. days. It's the best sports the coverage there is. I can. don't actually believe, mate, that any sport presents it better than Bathurst. I think the 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 fact that you have guys and girls in the pits who get the drivers in and out of their cars, who get the people working on their cars, talking to them. I mean, you've got to remember that, you know, this is why New Zealand rugby is dead. This is why the NPC is dead. You know, you can't talk to a player three days before a game in New Zealand. They're so, they're so wound up and stressed out. And then, of course, when you do want to talk to them afterwards, they never put up the guy that you want to talk about. You know, you know what the NBA does? The first thing they do when Draymond Green punches a guy in the face in practice, he's on the next day. you got to front up and you've got to talk about. Matt, how about this for the NPC, mate? The Phoenix drew a crowd four times bigger yesterday in Wellington, the soccer, than the rugby. You've been in New Zealand, what, 25 years now. Did you ever think I would say that? A club football match in Wellington gets four times the crowd than an NPC quarterfinal the day before. As you walk around, as you speak to people, lowest priority is the National Provincial Championship. It's as simple as that. There's two reasons, Martin, because they don't promote it properly 
a few posters at a couple of pubs. It's not what that part of the game needs. It needs to be promoted like they're all blacks. They need to create a reason for people to go. Yeah. And if they can't learn a lesson from what they saw for the women's rugby opener, well, it's right before them. What are their learnings? They filled it out with new people, not the usual rugby crowd. They're the definitions, the, the words that other people are saying. Totally new crowd, different atmosphere. Rita Aura, shut off part of the stadium to get Rita Aura in, and they've drawn their biggest crowd. Yeah. Well, why wouldn't they? No. I know. And not only that, you see, you see the Black Ferns... They're people that don't go to the that's boring, it. normal stuff that's, that's there. And you see the Black Ferns afterwards, and I think Ruby Terry was out there for an hour afterwards signing autographs or something. Everyone that, that, that I know that went, and I didn't actually go to the stadium, I walked around Kingsland that night where I lived just to see what kind of crowd was actually in the pubs and things. Completely different. So much more family, so, so much more friendly, so many more kids, so less boozy... And also just, and you know what it's like going to an all-black test, mate? I mean, it's it's arms folded, face like a drop pie, everyone hates it, because they're bloody team don't play, they're bloody in there, they're foster on them, blah, I mean, I've never been, you know, Eden Park, it took me till 2011, the semi-final against Australia, before I went along and actually enjoyed a game there. Because you don't have fun at Eden Park, watching the rugby. Not watching the men's rugby, you just don't. It was fun on Saturday. That's a, Look, and New Zealand rugby... I know that, you know, they won't be listening because they never listen, do they? Because they don't believe anything's wrong with the sport. But, Matt, it's as glaring as... You can't hide an empty Caketon in Wellington. It's just the yellow seats are screaming at you. Well, I don't understand how anyone ever wants minimal crowds at their games. No. So this is why I think Rugby World Cup, the women have done the right thing. The organisers have done the right yeah, thing, mate. They're not they're, watching it on TV. No, and what they're doing is they're flogging you know, you the tickets off there, Martin. Yeah, you've got to. The crowd makes the game. The crowd... Talk to the players yeah. after the game about the crowd. We lifted through the crowd. You need a home crowd. You need a crowd. That's what sport's about. There's no point having all your warriors or your thieves eaten by lions if no one's there to pay to see it. That's it. You have to start with a crowd. That's what it's all about. Get they don't seem there. to get it. They the don't women seem... did it. Yeah, they did it perfectly. However they did it, I bet the women's, I bet the PR was women. Well, I just think that did they're they actually... They, look, I think the, the thing with the Women's World Cup organisers is that, you know, despite the overwhelming saturation, fawning media coverage, the people who are organising it actually have their heads screwed on right. What they've done is they've mm. gone small, they've gone local, just like Cells NBL has, and they've looked at it and gone, we'd rather give the tickets away for four or five bucks and get the stands packed with fans so that when the TV cameras look at it and the pictures are displayed to the rest of the world, the world who, who might be have a passing interest of no interest is going, oh, wow, look at all of those people there. What are they doing? You know what it's like when a crowd gathers, Matt? What are you doing twice? Well, the first thing that a crowd gathers, you're going straight down there and thinking, oh, that pawn's back on that bloody tourist thing in the middle of the square, isn't it? Straight there. I go straight <laughs> to the kiosk to make sure everything's okay. There was a dinosaur movie on there one day. Listen, the point is we know you want crowds. Yeah. They want crowds at Bathurst. They want crowds at the Rugby League Grand Final. Yeah. They talk about the crowds. They say that's what makes the whole day. Sustain a day of motor racing or rugby league or whatever else. You need people. Yeah. You need a crowd. That's what so makes you it maybe fun. need to offer them more than you think. Maybe you need a new viewpoint. Maybe it's somewhere between the women's promotion who attracted a new crowd and the current promotion. Could there be a middle ground to attract the people they say they've been searching for? Well, they've already found how to get them. I'll tell you, here's this one as well, mate. If you, if you worked in the marketing department, the promotions department, any of that at NZR, how do you keep your job when no one goes to these games? I mean, you get paid to come up with campaigns to get people excited about things like the NPC. When no one turns up, when you can't sell out Super Rugby, when you celebrate with a national news story because the All Blacks sell out a test match. Is anyone in New Zealand Rugby even listening? Do they even understand? It's past you by. It's the, you know, when a soccer match sells out, over a rugby match of that importance. There was twice as many people at the Phoenix than for the Ranfilly Shield and the NPC quarterfinal combined. So why are we still even talking about the sport in this country like we talk about it? Take away the All Blacks. What are the rugby interest people? Not much, mate. That's the truth. Yeah, it takes a big buy in to watch the Super Rugby, doesn't it? You know, because a lot of people just don't even like those teams. What you've got is the question about is the game going to modernise, right? Mm. I don't talk about the all-black crowds like you do. 
They're just a bit stayed. They're ready. They're trying to judge. They're trying to go to the pub after the game. And who's got the best knowledge of the game? Instead of enjoying the game. Yeah. That's yeah, right. what that's about. Yeah. Right? So how do we get a bit of the fun back? I don't know if it's Jimmy Barnes again, but I don't know if it's Rita Aura necessarily, but could it be Stan Walker? You know, Stan Walker? Maybe he could reunite. Just bring the crowds back is all I've got to say. Look, the other thing is, there's only really two things on my mind all weekend, to be honest. Women's Rugby World Cup. Because I said last week, if women want to see more of this, they have to go. Yeah, and they did. They did. That's and the they thing. went. They went. Well, That's more the of them went to that than voted in Auckland, apparently. 31% of people went to the polls in Auckland. Let, let us leave it with they the weather. I'm staring right. out. I'm staring out my window here at the first Pahuta Carver bloom that I've seen in Auckland for the new season, mate. So that means that I don't know whether it's going to be a good summer, but it's always a cheer when you do weather down there over the weekend. Nice and balmy. I'm hoping. Oh, last weekend I left town and went to Omaru. It was balmy down there. It was lovely. This weekend, I have no idea, and I don't know from day to day, but I do know we hit the soaring heights of 18 today. No. And, and and just a gentle breeze this afternoon as the sun starts to go down. Right now, with winter behind me, Martin, and that tropospheric low yes. behind me, I'm enjoying spring. I'm back, being positive and out of my Bathurst cocoon. Resurrection Distillery is what the man does. That's Resurrection Distillery if you want to chase him on Facebook.